What's up YouTube, Woo the Winner is back with more tutorial video guys. Mego officially came out today on January 18th and today I'm going to share you my tricks and combos to you so you can beat your friends in PvP and enjoy BDO more in PvE content. So what are we waiting for? Let's get this started. First, let's talk about her secondary skills. As you guys can see, she only has the Spirit Step and Path of Petals. In order to use Spirit Step, all you guys have to do is press Shift and then movement. So forward, backward, sideways. So it can be either, for example, D, which is right, or A, which is left, S, which is backwards, or W as forward. Megu's movement skill for Spirit Step is really nice because you guys can easily just move through the mobs or even like PVPs. If there's so many crowded people around you, you can easily just escape by just using those Spirit Steps. For Path of Petals, all you guys have to press is W, F, and then if you guys keep holding F, she can basically dash in three more times. If you guys only activate it once, this is what happens. Just dashes in once. However, if you guys, after pressing W, F and hold F, this is what happens. So she dashes, you know, like three times forward. Playing Megu is just like playing chess on a horse, just like an L shape. And so you guys want to do forward, sideways, or you guys can do the sideways and then forward as well. So it's up to you guys. And so that way you guys can constantly activate your super armor in Invincible. And so that's why this is really important. So right here, guys, if it's always activated, that means you will never fall unless, you know, they have a grab from you out. And so make sure you guys keep practicing this and make sure that this is always activated. So that way you will never get caught. But the downside from that is that you guys will burn your stamina really, really fast. And so make sure you guys use some skills during that time. And so, just like I taught in Wusa, my one of the PvP guide, PvE guide. And so definitely check that out, guys. What I teach you guys there is that I do the side movement and then using a skill. And so the trick with the Mego as well, just like Wusa, is that you guys want to use one of the side steps or the front and then use the super armor with the front guard and then basically re repeat. So movement, skill, movement, skill, movement, skill, movement, skill, movement, skill, and so on. And so that way you guys can constantly be, you know, protected from the enemy and then make sure that you guys actually have super armor on. Or, you know, if you guys don't know what you're doing, then make sure you guys have forward guard if they're in front of you. But if you use forward guard while you're where they're behind you, then you are gonna not get fall down. So make sure you guys watch those. Once you guys master those moving skills, now we can add also the attacking moving skills. For example, there are two skills. The first one is called the Bear Claw, and then the second one is called Ghost Bomb. And so let's try the Bear Claw guys first, which is sideways, moving sideways, and then LMB. And if you guys hold LMB after that, it uses the second um, skill, which is called Nether River. And so let's do it. Side left click, and then hold left click. Let's try that one more time, side left click, and then hold left click. And then you will activate those two skills right there. For the Ghost Bomb, it's basically the same thing, but then now you press RMB instead of LMB. So this is what it looks like, guys. Boom, just like that. So what you guys can do is movement, and then add some attack skills, and then movement as well, right? So this is what you guys can do, which can be very, very fun, exciting. But again, it also drains the stamina when you, you guys use the skills for the attacking one as well so be aware so just like that it, it uses and drains my stamina right there so just be cautious with your stamina i think the stamina is the most important and the issue for megu and so if you guys can handle your stamina well with her i think she will be really really good class for pvp and pve in general so on my Excel sheet, I put all the movement skills that you guys can use, for example, for each scenario. So for one movement, you guys can either use one of these skills, which is, you know, the Spirit Step or Path of Petals. And then after that, you guys can use one of the skill, which is, you know, Petal Play or Bristling Sparks, Soul Tears or Flower Shroud. Like these are the ones that has stiffs or flows or, you know, any some kind of stuns. And so for example, if you go back to our game, you want to do a movement and then shift left click just like that and then if you get a floating and that's when we come back to our excel sheet right here we want to give them a knockdown if they actually fell from one of your skills and actually get caught you want to go close to them and then press shift q 
and then give a knockdown and after that you guys want to end with them with a really nice combo that i'm about to show you guys later so yeah once again remember these guys for movement you guys can either use one of these four skills well five including with this one if you keep holding the lmb after a bear claws and then skill i recommend you guys using one of these four so because it has a stiff float or some kind of stuns and then if you actually get them a stun just follow up and just do shift Q which is knocking down with the fox flare now let's talk about some skills that's really really important for Mego. prime fox spirit tag right here is really important guys is because they give enemy all AP minus 20 for debuffing and so once you guys use this skill on an enemy it debuffs them so make sure you guys want to add those on your combos using bear claws it gives enemy debuff for all evasion rate minus nine so you guys want to use that and then if you keep holding the left button it also gives you the all ap plus 20. adding a nether river is really really important in your combos too because it also gives you plus all ap plus 20. and so that's really really good guys and so for example if you use bear claws and then hold left click it's going to activate that all ap plus 20 so make sure you guys activate that once in a while when you guys are doing the movement skill right and then just add that little bit and then movement skill again right and then so that way it can be activated soul snare is really good for debuffing enemy as well which has attack speed or casting speed minus 20 percent and movement speed of minus 20 percent however this one does not have any super armor front guard so i highly recommend not using this just middle of nowhere because it's just too risky and you're open spotted and then if while you're using this skill and the enemy just you know use a skill that knocks you down then you're most likely going to die and so i highly recommend you guys um try to add this in the middle of the combo and not during the fight spirit away is really really also good skill if you guys use it during in the middle of the combo it because it gives you all accuracy rate plus nine percent which is pretty high guys and so that's really really good for a start off that you guys want to use that skill and then use some combos in the end after for better results and then there's this skill called absolute charmed and so this can be very tricky guys it's sometimes if you just want to use the skill alone then you guys want to do down space bar and that's how you guys activate it or you guys can use like one of the skill during the time and then it says that you know space bar during the other skills so for example let's press f and then press space bar for example so that's how you guys can activate that and then if you do you also get all ap plus 20. Just keep in mind that guys that the nether river also gives plus 20 and that one gives 20 but it doesn't stack each other um it just resets the cool time and so i'll show you guys right here for example sideways lmb and they activates it right but then if i use the down space bar it just reactivates the seconds but then the ap doesn't stack instead it just resets the time Heaven Ward Dance is also good guys if you guys add this during the combo it's because that it also gives all AP minus 20 debuff on the enemy so if you guys use it as you guys can see on the top right here it gives them the debuff and then her e buff is right here basically the form it also gives you all AP plus 25 critical hit rate 30% critical hit damage 20% and then you get a max HP 1000 for 30 seconds so you know before you guys engage on the enemy you activate that and then get in there and fight Meiko is really really nice for pvp fights because that she has a lot of um cc's that you guys can give to the enemy for example if you press w q which is forward q and it activates the soul tier and it's like a fencing it pokes them and then also gives them a stiffness so that's really really good engagement and then you know give them a knockdown and then you guys want to do combos after that and so on there's another good skill for engagement which is um the flower shroud which is we it gives a really nice stun if they get caught or you guys even can also do backwards so you guys can do forward e or backward e so this is what backward e looks like or this is what the forward e looks like as well so whenever they get stiffed or stuns that's when you guys want to give them a knockdown which is shift q which is fox flare right here guys it's the only knockdown that uh, Megu has and so make sure you guys use this very wisely because once you guys give them a knockdown um it makes them stay on the floor the longest period of time and so just like that guys you guys want to use that when they get stiffed or stuns or floating and so on talking about the next skill that can be also really good for engagement which is shift lmb 
which is pedal play and if you guys activate that it gives a really nice floating as well and then there should be another skill which is shift right which is right here guys which is bristling sparks and if, then if you guys activate that on the enemy it gives a really really nice stun on them as well so whenever you guys are using one of these skills and they got caught either they get stiffed or float or stunned right that's when you guys want to go close to them and then shift q is where it's at and then shift q guys and then they get a knockdown and that's when you guys want to start your combo to finish them off memorizing those can be very challenging so this is what i do guys is putting skill cooldown slots put them all the numbers up all the way up to 20 because i'm still learning the character and this is what i do and then go to edit ui after pressing escape and then just play around and then put all these numbers around you know on your screen wherever it fits you and then for example this is on my stiff on the left side so you know if i do the shift left click which is that one on the top left and then shift right click right the reason i put lmb and rmb is because you know the left mouse and right mouse and so that's why it's so easy for me to understand what's what is so that way if i do you know oh this one's left right so i can do shift left click and then this one's like oh it's shift right click right so that's why this is really convenient guys um figuring out where to put these and you know what fits you best and then the bottom ones are you know q q this is wq right and it, Q on your keyboard is on the left side and then the E is on the right side. And so this is what I do. So that's WQ and then the other one is WE, right? And so that's the Q and that's the E. And so that's how I remember things very quickly. Is that shift left click, shift right click, WE, WQ. And then that's how I know all those skills, for example. And so with that, my movement, remember my movement here, guys, on the bottom. So right here, and then this is an aggro, like aggressive movement. So a movement, movement aggro movements right and then adding some kind of skill i did shift q there by accident but you guys you might know what i mean which is shift left click right so i'm supposed to do movement shift right click movement w q right and stuff like that and so that's what you guys want to do and practice and get good and then if they actually get one of these and they fell for it that's when you guys do the combos after shift q all right, so let's do some combos here, guys. So I'm going to show you guys how it would look like after you guys get a stiff or stun. And I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do my combos. Let's take a look at in a slow motion, so get any CC, use any skill, and then after that, you guys want to use Bear Claws, Nether River, Fox Flare, and then Spirited Away, Fox Spirit Tag, Soul Flame, Hunt Booty, and then finish it off with the Spirit Swirl, guys. Reason why I chose this specific skills are because the first one, Bear Claws, gives all evasion minus 90 buff, and then the next after that gives us plus 20 all AP. After that, we want to Fox Flare and give them a knockdown, and then after that, we want to use Spirit Away, which is all accuracy plus 9 buff to yourself, and then we want to use Tag, which is all DP minus 20 debuff, and then we want to use Soul Flame, which is burning, and then extra damage, and then Spirit Away, all DP plus 20. And that will be it for this video guys. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comment down below if you enjoy my content and my video. If you want any other classes for tutorials, let me know as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Ciao.